So apparently there's something new for all the kids who want to work out these days. Maybe it's just me, but... So I was at the park where I often run and do like pull-ups and push-ups and things like that. Mm -hmm. There's this guy, he's wearing these really nice jeans, nice belt, no shirt, in his 20s, playing music and in between his push-up sets, he's like dancing and pointing to people, goes to his truck, he gets out a quart of orange juice, he's drinking the orange juice. I'm like, okay, maybe this is a new thing. And then the piece de resistance, he sits down on the table that's like this park table and busts out his crack pipe. Sounds like a good Thursday afternoon. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid right field to Corbin. Crack, it's the What's for Fitness. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much, Patreon. Hey, Patreon. I'd like those pictures of my mom. Gross. Even he hasn't seen him. Huh! Uh, today we got a best ever food review show. Yay! Like him a lot. Yes, we this do. One's exotic Indian food tour in Jodhpur. No one should have to eat this. <laughs> girlfriend <laughs> shot. Girl, okay. Girlfriend shot challenge. A girlfriend shot challenge. I don't know what that means. I don't either. But no one should have to eat this. Let's see what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> Great thumbnail. Oh no! Why? <laughs> that was like a cinnamon challenge. It was really hot. Welcome to Jodhpur, the second largest city in the Indian state of Rajasthan. Well, with hi. a population of over 1 million. A big Indian city would be 10 million. A small Indian city is usually like a million people. The people of Jodhpur are inviting and <laughs> We're arriving during a religious festival. Spirits are high, the colors are bright, and there's something new to experience around each corner. When it comes to cuisine, Jodhpur has a mystery in its air. You can find countless fascinating delicacies that take the cuisine to the next level. The masala is rising up with the steam. Oh, that's so good. With so much to be discovered, I can't wait to experience the flavors of Jodhpur. The style is spicy. They are known for their matane and chili. It's really yes, they are. red and really spicy. Rajasthani really food is. Some <laughs> to kind of cool it down. Yes. Yes. Today, I'm on a mission to find the most oh, unique, that was mesmerizing. exotic this city has to offer. From food that requires mad skills to create, it is the ballet of the hands, to a savory gulab jamun that includes four types of dairy. If oh. you like rich food, you will absolutely love this. And also, street food that's more of a test than it is a snack. Girls test their boyfriend's love for them if they can handle the spice of this chat. So grab your elephant okay. and hold on to your trunk, because it's about to get exotic in Jodhpur, India. Welcome to India. Today we are in Jodhpur. I am with Harshita. What is going on? <laughs> As you drive around, it is a non-stop stimulation for the senses. There's constant horns, beautiful colors everywhere. I saw a goat wandering around. I don't know if someone lost that goat. I didn't see a name tag on it. That's a pet goat. Not for eating. Yeah, someday. Oh, okay. <laughs> they headed to Mirchi Bara. That's a breakfast item. It's actually a giant chili dipped in a batter of gram flour. Perfect. A giant chili. For four generations, this family has been perfecting one of Jodhpur's favorite breakfasts. And today, I'll get a first-hand look at how they make it Breakfast? from scratch. Right now, we're headed into the home of the owner. This is where they start making the stuffing for this dish. And here we are. This is the home kitchen, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Grandpa, the one who perfected the Murchivada's unique masala spice blend, is still the only one who knows its ingredients. With the recipe securely locked away, because one of the ingredients is meth. Not even I don't trust you. Knows. It's a secretly guarded recipe. You really have to earn that. The basic ingredients are just you find in any home Indian kitchen. But the secret is the formulation. It makes it very special for this thing. Wow. Murchi Vada starts with boiled potatoes. After they're mashed up, they add in the super secret masala. We don't know the portions, but my foodie friend can suss out what's inside. Okay, so with your food skills, you think you can deduce what is it? Deduction? Yeah. <laughs> they basically do a tempering of cumin seeds in oil, mm -hmm. and they add dry chili, chili powder, garam masala, uh, salt, asafoetida, turmeric. Also, they add uh, dry lemon powder for timeliness. Yeah, it's rising up with this steam. 
Oh, that's so good. Next up, stuffing the potato mixture inside the chilies. The most important part of this. If you slit it and the batter is thin, chilies get fried as well. It's quite cool. After stuffing, it's dunked in their batter made from lentil flour, then deep fried. It's the ballet of the hands. Sir, how are you able to concentrate doing two different things with two different hands while I'm talking to you? How do you do that? That's <laughs> This said, is where we're eating. Get away from me, you Ben Trot. It's a freaking elephant. Um. Oh, that's a high. Hey, how long have they had this elephant? He's 30 years old. Whoa. This is still a young guy right here. Basically, elephants are a symbol of an Indian god. So that's why they put this bell over here for good vibrations. Yeah. Because of that. Elephants have such a flexible nose, they can pick yeah. up a dime off of concrete or they can even That's eat some sliced bread. Wow, this thing is yes, beautiful. I did not expect to see an elephant this morning. It's time for a fresh new batch of Murchivada. You can have it with bread to cut some of the heaviness or saltiness, or just take on There's the chili There's no way I could eat that. Here we have our murchi. Just a chili? They serve it with no chutney. It doesn't require any chutney. The masala has turkey inside it. It's like it's all in there. No additions required. It just still looks like a little chili, right? The stem is here. The whole thing is coated. We just bite into it? Cheers. They're real hot. Oh, that is spicy. The tanginess is on another level. I can see why. Would you eat that? Absolutely. Such yeah. an intense. I dish, couldn't eat that. How many of these is he selling a day? Two thousand pieces of these. That's ridiculous. It's majorly a snack item, but people have it in breakfast as well. It's quite filling, right? Yeah, uh, ma'am. I love Indian done. breakfasts, man. They're always savory and hot. And we are done. That One or the other, or both. Our next exotic food is completely foreign to me, but it's even crazy to most people here in India. It starts with what's usually... Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun is basically a sweet dish that you get throughout the India, but in Jodhpur, it's turned into a savory dish. We won't get this uh, vegetable anywhere else. We're headed to Gypsy to learn more. This place has a Thali buffet. Patrons sit down with a platter as they're served... Gulab jamun is a savory curries, dish. ...gravies, breads, and more. People come here because they don't want to think about what they have to order. In a Thali, they get everything. That's brilliant. But Harshi and I are just here to learn about one food. Gulab jamun ki sabzi. This dish uses four kinds of dairy. Here's how it works. First, grate some milk salad made from dehydrated milk. I'm dying just to know what this tastes like on its own. Not cheese. Let's try it out. Oh, that is intense milk. And you don't have time to drink two glasses of milk a day. You can just <laughs> eat milk on the go. Combine the grated milk solid with refined flour and cumin seeds. Roll them into balls and fry them in ghee, also known as clarified butter. The more typical gulab jamun would then be soaked in sweet yeah. syrup and served as a dessert. But here at Gypsy, we're taking a turn for the savory. Once the color turns golden brown, we take it out. We put the gulab jamun into the gravy. That becomes the gulab jamun. Gisabhi. That sounds really nice. It's this gravy includes mixed That's curd, so interesting. red chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, garam masala, and a whole boatload of other seasonings. That all gets added to some more sizzling hot ghee. Once the sauce is ready, then it's in with the balls. That is unique. Very. What's so special and kind of crazy about this yeah. for you is that they've converted what's usually a dessert into a savory dish that he calls a vegetable. Yeah. Where are the vegetables? <laughs> is it the cumin seeds? Is that it? Because it's savory, we call it vegetables. So that's unique for you, but for me, there's four different dairy products in here. It's unbelievably rich. And Did you have your vegetables Can today? We eat this alone? Yeah. Sorry. Well, we could, we could eat it at the same time. Whoa! It just falls apart in your mouth, and then just leaves. I have no idea what that would taste like. Your lips. Somehow, it's just kind of delicate at the yeah, same time. Yeah, it's very delicate. Yeah. With the bread, you would just dip in there. Show me your ways. Make a scoop out of it. Make a scooper. Take the bite. Scooper out. All right. Cheers. Oh, that is to die soft. for. Insanely creamy, a ton of spice coming through. Very present masalas that all work together in a gentle way. Mm. I like that. Yeah, me too. If you like rich food, if you love... I would try that. I Absolutely. No, I have no idea what that would taste like, though. Bob Jamin is delicious if it's fresh. 
We are a huge on difference here. There's about when it's fresh. different carts all serving food as the sun goes down. Is there a name for this side street? Uh, it's called uh, Shastri Circle Market. This is the perfect place for an evening snack or even like six evening snacks. I tried Pani Puri for the first time in Mumbai and found them to be slightly addictive. Seriously, I've had like eight or nine already. Last one, last one. But Mumbai only had one flavor. This place has like eight or maybe nine flavors. Whoa. Is it eight, nine? Eight, eight. 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 Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. It's actually, it's eight. Okay, yeah, guys, yeah. I've confirmed it's eight. The Pani Puri must start with a hollow fried crisp. It's like a nacho chip. Remember the our Pani Puri eating contest? Bean mixture. So different places have different stuffing. Once again, they probably have fresh. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That tore dinner. the roof of my mouth up. And the <laughs> then you get to choose one of eight different sauces. What flavor is this? This one, it has sugar and black salt, white salt. This one has mint. Yeah. Mint? Yeah. That's the dangerous one, the oh. garlic one. Look at that. And nice garlic, green yes. Mint, flavor no. water. Uh, we all love the flavor of green. What do you recommend? Uh, the dates one. Dates? Bam. We gotta go for it right away before it leaks out. Ready? Yeah. It's good, but it's like spicy water. <laughs> No. Well, no. <laughs> okay, it just caught me by surprise. Very delicious. The crisp is like corn chip to me. And then this, I don't know, it tastes like spicy water to me. What are you saying? It's a sweet one. What else do you want to try? Let's try the spicy one. We haven't tried the spicy <laughs> one yet? No. Spicy? Okay, here we go. The spicy puri. That is very spicy. It's I couldn't intense. go like eight of those in a row, but to mix it up, that's a fun one. Which do you think we should end with? Garlic. All right, we're going to hard. The garlic one. Nice. I try the garlic green one. Green in color. Garlic pani puri. Whoa, <laughs> that is so garlicky. <laughs> <laughs> that is like garlic juice. To me, all these are fairly spicy. If they could just fill one of these up with pink Pepto Bismol, that would be perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> it is our final food of this exotic adventure. What is the name of this food? It's called Girlfriend Chai. Okay, here's the one. Why did you name this girlfriend Chad? Like I said, girls like spicy food, so that's why he gave the name the girlfriend Chad. Do you guys like spicy food? No. <laughs> no. He also told me earlier that girls taste their boyfriend's love for them if they can handle the spice of this chat. Oh. So this isn't a, a street food, this is a test. A challenge. But how spicy is this? I think you'll find it out. Okay. The girlfriend chat starts with baked wheat cups, then green chilies, cashmere, red oh, chili powder, Rajasthani oh, red chili powder, oh, salt, chat masala, garam masala. What? This is like a cupcake of seasoning. <laughs> then perhaps to reduce the intensity, it gets some graham flour shavings, tamarind chutney, graham flour fried balls of different colors, pressed fried chickpeas, tomatoes, and coriander. Please note this should not be considered real food. It's a trick or some kind of beautifully decorated practice. <laughs> Practical joke of food. When you just look at it from the top, it looks innocent enough. It's like two little cupcakes. Oh, God. All right, we're going to end strong on this one, okay? We have like the cupcake of death right here. Crispy outside, and then it is just. It's that bottom part, man. Masala and spice. So one Chilies. Let's do it. Two, three different kinds of red pepper powders. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, no. That was like a cinnamon challenge. Oh, and then the spice. That wasn't even the worst part. It was really hot now. Yeah. Yeah, he's like... Eh, 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 eh. He's like... Oh. It is like eating a teaspoon like, of spicy idiot. salt. It is so Stupid spicy white guy. Powdery. I need to find a lassie. Can we go find a lassie? Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Jodhpur to me is something out of a dream. Overstimulating sounds, smells, and sights. A child dancing at a festival, kids wearing eye makeup, locals partying in unison. And flavors completely different from anything I've experienced in India before. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I always like his videos. The, the, uh, another great one, obviously. The Spiciest food I had on the in our India trip was in Rajasthan. Rajasthan. When we went to um, um, uh, Jaipur. Whew. <laughs>
<laughs> that was yeah. I just remember, and there's one video that was just never released because the the footage just it because when we went to this place, it was a cool place. It was like it was like a bunch of different cultural stuff. And yeah, like little stalls and everything. Yeah, and then we had food at the end, but it was at night, and so all the footage was bad, not good. The audio was terrible. I didn't have a camera at the time, so I was just using my phone. Um, but that food was so fucking hot. Yeah, I remember repeatedly, and, and Johnny and I were checking on you. Like, you okay? And we were we were exhausted by that time. Too. Yep. <laughs> like it was. Yeah. We was <laughs> we were running on fumes. Uh, I, there were probably three nights in a row around that time mm -hmm. where I was talking to Johnny at the end of the day and saying. I, Corbin's doing amazing. That was hot stuff today, man. That was hot for me. Although the, the delicious, the, probably the most delicious food in Rajasthan was at the palace. Yeah, Ooh, man. that was that was ex every little bite of that exquisite was exquisite. Every, most of the food we had was very very good. Mm -hmm. That as well as I mean, when we were in New Delhi, that chef who made us those things at the restaurant, that was pretty stellar stuff oh, too yeah, that, that was, was amazing it's such good food yeah uh would love to uh be able to uh, rajasthan probably had the coolest architecture yeah the 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 architecture there because we went to obviously some palaces and just otherworldly yeah really amazing um it's absolutely incredible uh so glad we got to go to so many different places me too uh, me we too can't wait to go back yeah anyways uh let us know what other food videos we can react to and uh if you've eaten any of this food down below Just